So the holidays in jail, huh? Well, Thanksgiving, that's a family time. I mean, you know, it's hard to be with your family. It's probably some of the worst times that you can spend in jail. And all you do is you laugh to keep from crying. You smile, but on the inside it kills you. And, uh, it's a very difficult time. But, you know, we make the best of it in jail. But I remember one time, you know, we cook every year. And uh, one morning, one Thanksgiving morning, I was in Elkton. We got up to, uh, you know, start cooking early in the morning with the stingers and, you know, and to cook turkey and to cook everything we were cooking. We had a whole bunch of stuff made up and prepped. And I went, up, got, went to the bathroom and I tried to flush the toilet and nothing happened. What happened is the water main broke. So we didn't have no water that whole Thanksgiving day. We had this huge feast planned, you know, and that probably exacerbated the feelings of missing your family. You know, you go in the bathroom using, uh, you know, buckets of water they dropped off. It just even flushed the toilets. It was, um, it was a nightmare. And, um, you know, that's really indicative of how it is in prison. It's a nightmare for the holidays, you know. And uh, all you could do is, you know, you just the stomach's in knots. You miss your family and you're just putting on a smile for everybody else. But, of course, you know, the worst thing about, you know, about that is, is you, know, you know the way you feel. Your head, your mind, everything is bothersome. But you just keep moving forward and try to do the best you can. And that's probably a portrait of what every day looks like, but really, really bad on the holidays. Just move forward. You know, we'll have to keep from crying. That's it.